We just finished a very interesting panel at uh, Samsung Unpacked. We talked about AI in the home and uh, the future that that agentic AI can bring to our experience in the home. I'm here with Tobin Richardson from the Connectivity so, Standards Connectivity Alliance. Standards yeah. Alliance. <laughs> but everybody knows them because of Matter, which is what has really enabled that next phase of the connected home becoming more smart. Yeah. What were you excited about talking about AI and the effort that you have been making together with players like Samsung? Yeah. I, I guess first of all, I'm always just thrilled at the investment that these companies are making in open standards. This isn't going to happen unless everybody works together and creates that foundation. So even though it's it's kind of in the background, I get excited about it because I know just what foundation like is building. In the exactly. Background. <laughs> <laughs> now playing wouldn't work unless uh, it had a good standard. Um, so yeah, I'm really excited about that. But but as a user and a consumer, I'm also super excited about what that's going to mean in terms of my own experiences. And that's that's why I'm in the standards because I want those user experiences. I want everything to just work. And Samsung is a real leader. They think they're really kind of a systems thinker, and that's uh, which I really appreciate because they're looking at the platform, the devices, the mobile, every part of that user experience and bringing that all together. And so you have to have all those work, they have to be seamlessly connected, and then you have to be able to you know, intelligently bring something to that. There was one point that you made during the conversation that I think is worth reiterating, which is that the fact that having standards doesn't take away from the vendor being able to uh, diversify and actually deliver a different experience. Can you talk to me about that a little bit? Yeah, that notion of differentiation is really important, especially for companies that are making an investment in a core piece of the technology that goes into their device. As long as they're thinking about it in terms of kind of it's an opportunity to create better experiences, to tie in and pull in all the other devices, I think they understand the power of standards. If they think of it as a limiting function uh, that takes away the, from their ability to differentiate, they're probably focused in the wrong area of the user experience and the wrong area of delivering extra value to consumers. And this has happened over years, right? We've seen this with the internet. You had closed ecosystems. That was fine early on. It proved the kind of the concept in the market. Now as you get into open, it really blossoms in terms of the value and most importantly for the consumers to get really cool experiences. What should I look forward to over the next 12 months as it comes to Matter? Yeah. We're, uh, we, are, we have tons and hundreds of companies working on Matter. It's a very exciting time. Uh, so for the next 12 months, I'm really looking forward to uh, an, an increase in terms of the investment and energy of the companies. We've learned a lot in the first two years of implementation. Not all of it great, which is fine, and we expected that, so that's all, all good, um, and we knew that would happen. Um, that's something that you've talked about, too. It's a journey, yeah. um, and it's, you know, uh, it's going to be a, you know, a really strong and powerful journey. That journey is only going to be productive if everybody's still engaged, everybody's still invested, and they're building products, they're building in functionality, and in all those categories, we're seeing it. So I'm supremely confident that we're headed in the right direction. I have no, uh, you know, no illusions about the, the task in front of us because it's difficult to make this work. So I'm supremely confident because everybody's still invested, everybody continues to invest even more. Samsung as well has done a great job. Uh, both in terms of bringing products out, committing to updated versions of Matter, and all of that is really important in signaling to the industry that, yes, this is the unifying standard, yes, yeah. we all need to get behind it, we need to make cool products. And I think it's important to be clear that this matters, no pun intended, because that is how you're going to get users to really adopt your devices, and because the, the business opportunity within the home is massive. Yeah, it, it truly is massive. I think we're just beginning. We're yes. really just scratching the surface. And I think some folks have looked at the smart home market and said, oh, it's not, it's just kind of flat. Is it really going anywhere? If you talk to anybody who doesn't know technology, and when you explain what matter really is, things just work, they're like, yes, I want that, I want that now, and then I'll buy more things. But until we get past that, we're not going to see the market. So we, we absolutely need matter. Companies need matter, the ecosystems need matter, and then smart home, users everywhere will buy because of matter. Absolutely, because I always talk about this when I talk about early adopter versus mainstream, right? Yeah. Early adopters almost like the pain of making something work, <laughs> mainstream users don't. Yeah. So thank you so much for spending a few minutes with me after our yeah. panel, and I look forward to seeing where matter goes in the next one months. Thank Pleasure. you, Toby. You're welcome, thank you so much.